You guys, today is one of those days where I'm not having a very good day. I have been crying all day and I don't know why. I think that I'm healthy, but I clearly am not. So I decided to actually let my dietitian select some food for me. I have no idea what she selected, but I'm sure it's gonna be really healthy because I feel like one of the reasons why I'm not doing okay mentally, cause look, my eyes are swollen. I've been crying that much. One of the reasons why I have not been doing well is because of my diet. And as you guys know, my diet is really bad. Oh, can you guys do me a favor? So, um, before we find out what my dietitian got me, ooh, french fries, mm, can you all do me a favor? So this person doesn't know I'm gonna be doing this for them. I didn't tell them. So we're gonna surprise this person. I did a special collab with somebody, and um, I want you to go to go to their. They started a brand new channel, and um, it's gonna be a little secret. I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna write it in the description, but I'm gonna pin it. Go over there and say Nick sent me. You'll make their day, and actually subscribe because if you like mukbangs from me, you'll also like mukbangs from them. And yes, I say them because it's two people. Okay, go check it out now, peasants. Do it. Do it or you're not a true fan. It takes like two seconds. Two seconds. Go. Hi. Subscribe. Nick sent me. Bye. But then go watch their videos. So I'm going to pin it and y'all better do it if you love me. All right. So let's see what oh, this bag is secure. They, they secure the bags. Look at the grease. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. My dietitian. Probably got me some good stuff to eat. Okay. So we have french fries up in here. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life. Plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. And I asked for extra seasoning. I see. Extra seasoning. So this is a great meal to have after crying. Amber, thank you very much. I mean, Hamba. She's from France. Hamba. Hamba like a hamburger. Ooh, I got another friend. Oh, I got three french fries. Ah, uh, Hamba, knows, Hamba knows me so well. <laughs> She's very sought after in France, okay? Very sought after that. Hamburger. Oh. Yeah, these are my favorite. Oh, she knows me so well. I got Parmesan cheese. Yes, I give me the cheese. And we got, oh, the bread, the lemon pepper. And it's crazy, y'all know I hate dry food. But ironically, they're dry and it's really greasy on a good day. And it better be a good day or I'm calling it corporate. It's gonna be hamburger's fault. Oh, those are just dusted, 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 dusted with nutritions. My hair is crazy. I felt like, let's just have a crazy day, who cares? You know, some guys actually pay to spy. That's it. Abba. Abba kabab ado abba kabila. This is all I got, apparently, for things to do. Amber, I'm gonna come here to excuse me, lady. How skinny are you trying to make me? I deserve way more. I'm assuming they're all ranch. I don't know. See, this is why I don't like surprises. Ooh, we got some spicy wigs, and we also got some Lemon pepper rub. Ah, well, this should be enough food. Is this enough food? I don't even know. So that means I have. Well, she paid. Oh, I have to pay her back though. It's, it goes in this little account. It's like a wallet. It's like escrow, and I have to pay her as oh whatever. But that's the that's what that's what celebrities do with their dietitians. They don't sit there and PayPal each order. No, they give them a chunk. Here's three hundred dollars. Bye bye mukbangs for the next week or so. And then we'll re refill the, the allowance. And I also get an itemized list to make sure that she's not sneaking any of her own. You know, imagine if she took it. Oh, well, she didn't. She didn't deliver, deliver. Okay, you guys. Well, it's one of those days. I might start crying in this video. I really don't know. Uh, oh, 
my gosh, and I got a lot of feedback under, what was it? What I eat in a day? No, it was, what was the video called? It was basically what I eat in a day. Oh, it was only eating at drive throughs for 24 hours. Now that day was not like most days. I ate way more that day than I usually do. Y'all know, I, I eat a good amount, but not that much. Y'all added up the calories. I had like 8,000 calories that day. But that has 300,000 views. It's been up for a week. So for me, that's really good. For this channel, oh my gosh, yes. So we're going to do it again. It's kind of crazy that y'all want me to be fat, even though I'm skinny. It's just water weight. It's just water weight. I did not get the cheese. Oh, thank goodness. I was kind of afraid she would order the cheese, because the cheese from here, I don't really like. It's flavorless. I like uh, Del Taco's cheese better. I like Taco Bell's nacho cheese. Their cheese needs flavor. But anyways, let's get set up and let's enjoy the show. Oh, and real quick. Oh yeah, that's all I have to say, honestly. Everyone's, uh, I just, I'm, uh, again, I'm thinking about yesterday's video. Everyone's saying, you and Orland, oh, we'd love to see you get along. You guys, that's not getting along. That's faking it for the camera. Let's be real. Some days we can't control ourselves and then we just let our real emotions come out and that's when he gets the shoe. But when we're all getting along, that's just acting. We're just faking it because the camera, listen, I just want my check. I don't give a rat's behind about anybody else but myself, including him. So if we're getting along and everyone's like, oh my God, they're so cute. It's like, yeah, fake it till you make it. Okay, we're putting on a brave face because the camera's on. That same day, he probably pulled my hair and bit me. So. I also have, oh, I'm trying this new water. This is alkaline pH water. And it's crazy because, do you know that's like a scam? Your, your body's not supposed to consume high pH water. It's supposed to be acidic, but people think the opposite because people are dumb. People are stupid. People are dumb. It's a true, it's a true, it's true statements. Anyways, let's begin the show. One, two, three. Bam. You literally look like a Meat Canyon cartoon today. Did he draw my hair like that? It's. Lit. Did he draw my hair like this, the Meat Canyon person? Yes. No, he didn't. And your face fupa too. I don't have a face fupa. A face tuba. I identify as skinny. As fat. As skinny, so you address me as what I identify. That's the rule now. Leave. I identify as skinny. Okay, you guys, so we have a lot of food. <laughs> it's your fault, Ashley. Can't do anything about this pla- I thought I was gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Right on the edge, you're on thin ice, lady. Oh my god, let's just eat. Okay, so, what are we gonna have first? There's so much food here, I don't even know, I don't even know what to have. Let's do one of these. This here is the brand new lemon rub. I don't even like dry food, and it's not dry, it's oily and crispy. All this oil just pops out like a gusher. Oh, you guys, if you skip the intro, please do me a favor and surprise somebody. I'm gonna pin their channel in the comments. You have to go on over and say, Nick sent me. And I'm gonna see who went over, and I'll shout you out in tomorrow's video, and thank you. So you have to go, I'll be checking. Um, you can do it anytime. Just say, Nick sent me, and subscribe to your channel. I'm not gonna tell you who, it's very exciting, it's new. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Excuse me. That ranch is the best ranch on planet Earth. So, yes, you guys, go do it. Thank you. I'm going to pin your channel. Go see who it is. 
And I'm going to start doing that for a lot of people. I'm, I'm thinking, like, I need to give back more. All I do is take, 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 because I'm greedy. Let's give. Oh, let's do another one. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. It's actually really good. <laughs> mm. Mm. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Is this enough, dude? Now, what we're gonna do a tender. This is the garlic parmesan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see what's happening? We're getting straight into the video. Straight into it. Straight into it. Straight into it. As straight as I can be. They're so hot, so crispy. Hear that crunch? These are, this is my new favorite, this is my favorite place. These not, you shouldn't even call these wings, they're basically chicken nuggets. Why are they wings? They're chicken nuggets. They're glorified chicken nuggets. They're so juicy. I just slurped a wing. Oh my god. This is the best thing to have after crying all day. I cried all day today. All day. Literally. Oh my god. Look at this. It looks like a big old shrimp. Oh my god. It's so juicy. These are deep. These are huge. Those are the best tenders on earth. Oh my god. I love cheese. Dun dun. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. I don't know what I'm saying, Nobody. Nobody does it like this. It's official. It's official. It also helps I'm eating these really hot. Oh my god, let's do some, let's do some ranch fries. <clears throat> I my fork. Remember when I was on Hosh.0? And they, well, maybe you don't remember. And they handed me a fork, and I did, I was so awkward, I was so nervous, I had no idea what to say, and I was just like, I like looked around, holding my fork like this. It's so stupid. I was like, you are a loser, Nikocado. You are a loser, but we love you. We love you for it. Okay, let's try this spicy. This is the, I'm sick of holding this. Sit, sit still. Where am I supposed to put this? Okay, let's take this slant down. There we go. All right, let's try it. This is the original wing. It's just, it's honestly a chicken nugget. Ah. It's so tender. No, it's, ooh, that's good. It's nice. It's very good. But we know it's crazy. This is referred to as a saucy wing. These two, the lemon pepper and the garlic parmesan, those both other ones are referred to as dry. Yet that tastes way drier than the, than the dry ones. I feel like here's my hunch, that the sauce gets absorbed by the, the, the uh, what you call it? Oh, crispy, juicy, it tastes like, like Popeyes. <laughs> the sauce gets absorbed by all the batter. All that flour, it gets absorbed and it becomes extra heavy, like gunky. Whereas this, it tastes lighter, airy. 
tasty fried, but then there's all this like oil that pops out. All this grease. <clears throat> yes. See, I'm gonna do one of these lemon pepper ones. Excuse, um, garlic parmesan. It tastes wetter than the wet one. Mm. Okay. The moment you are all waiting for. The french fries. <clears throat> you guys want to see me? I know. I'm probably going to do it for the thumbnail, which is why I say you're waiting. I love water. It's why I have a lot of water weight. Okay. I'm going to, um, let's do this. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, see what I'm doing? You see that? You see what I'm doing? Excuse me. Is this blue cheese? Oh my God, this is blue cheese. Oh well, I like that too. All right, here I go. Oh. Oh. Mom, 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 mom. Don't even look at me, lady. <laughs> I dropped two pieces. Now I'm gonna starve. I forget what I was gonna say. I look so horrible. In case you skip the intro, I've been crying all day. Um, let's shout out to my dietitian for hooking me up with some good. Okay, so that was blue cheese. Oh, tastes good, that's for sure. Let's do the other side, ranch. Okay, let's just move these. I feel like they're gonna get in the way. So greasy, mmm. I put them on the, don't, excuse me, they didn't go on the table, they went on the tray. Okay, let's get a ranch. Let's go to the other side. Ah, <gasps> uh, oh, oh, oh. See, it's a little runnier too. Ooh, here we go. Okay, let's hook it up. Let's hook it up. Hook me up. Hook me up. That's what I say. Okay, hook me up. Hook me up. Oh, the tray is moving. Was it moving that whole time? I'm really stupid. Hook me up. Uh -huh. I was going like this. Uh -huh. mm. No words. No words except 911. <laughs> I'll join. I'm fine. No, it's crazy. I think I like the blue cheese more. I think I like the blue cheese fries more. Yes, living for it though. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you. It's your fault. Somebody needs to go give Amber my the update preferences. Oh. Mm. with my life these are the things we ask ourselves I 
I was just connecting with an old friend. And like a true friend. And by true friend, I mean I don't have to talk to them every day or every week. Um, I get annoyed about that. Obviously, I'll go through spurts with people where I'm like, I talk to them a lot for like a couple weeks straight and then we take like weeks off. <clears throat> I've had people in my life that just suffocate where they want to text every day. If you don't, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't text them for a couple of days, they think that, oh, they think that there's something wrong with you. Those people are not normal. They don't have nor they're not out in the real world. Um, or they are, but they're mentally unwell. I like the people that you can check in with every couple weeks, every couple months, <sighs> even years. I have some, I have such good friends in New York that if I called them right now and said, can I come crash on your couch? They'd say, of course, Nick, we miss you, come on over. There's no like, well, you didn't wish me Merry Christmas last year. I was offended. You forgot my birthday last year. I was offended. It means you're not a true friend. You know, I'm sick of how you only talk to me when you need something. You know, I, I, I'm just, you know, I don't like users. You, you feel like you're draining me. I'm just, goodbye. You're out of my life. It's like, wow, we had such a good time the last time we were together because I didn't, I didn't wish you. Do you know how many people I know? I know probably 18,000 individuals from the course of my lifespan. College. <clears throat> um music camp, regional orchestras, New York City, living in uh, Philadelphia, living in Washington, D.C., uh, traveling the world. I know people from like probably 15 countries minimum. If I don't sit down and spend 12 hours typing a message to every single person I've ever met in my life, nobody does that, okay? Even my own family might forget to wish me happy birthday every now and then. You know, I don't remember all my cousins' birthday. I have like 17 cousins, and there's probably other people. Uh, it's just... So I'm like, you, honestly, you are the reason why you're sad alone. You're, you are alone. <laughs> and you're the reason why. So um, I've had people like that, where they're like, you didn't wish me happy birthday last year. I thought maybe you were mad at me. It's like, how old are you? That's something usually like an eight-year-old says when they're, you know, it's their special day and they need everyone to bow down. That's what eight-year-olds get it too, you know? They deserve that. You give the eight-year-old their presents, you call them king and queen all day, you give them whatever they want to eat. That's that's eight-year-old's behavior. But for a 28-year-old, a 38-year-old, I think not. You got some growing up to do. So anyways, I was talking to one of my friends whose birthday I did not wish last year. They didn't wish me a happy birthday. Ooh, oh, oh, the world's over. Um, but every time we hang out, which is like literally Maybe once a year, once every couple of years. Well, now it's been like every, I haven't seen them for two years, but it used to be once or twice a year from like 22 to 25, 26. And we we talk on the phone and it's like no time has passed. There's no holding a grudge. There's no, I'm offended because you weren't there for me. You know, I lost my dog. I posted it on Facebook. You ignored, you didn't even like it. <sighs> There's none of that. Um, so anyway. They said, how's life? Are you still doing that YouTube thing? Like, what do you do now? And I'm like, I eat food. I eat food and complain about the world. Yeah, that's what I do. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Nick, chew your food before you swallow. Thank you. Mm. Chew that food. <coughs> so... It's one of those moments where I'm just like, wow, I literally just eat food. Like, what did I do today? Laundry, clean, <sighs> drive stuff to re uh, uh, Amazon to return. I edited a Patreon video. I made some TikToks. I did like three or four cameos. I mean, I worked. I mean, I edited. I have another video coming out on the main channel. I had to edit a lot of that video. We're talking like 15 hours, but whatever. And, you know, I'm still doing stuff, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of just eating. And I'm like, I'm sitting here and I'm eating everyone. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha. I eat. People like to watch me eat, even when I'm ugly. I was so cute yesterday. I shaved, my hair was nice, I wasn't so swollen from crying. I looked cute yesterday. I was feeling myself in that Sonic video, but I got really tired. <sighs> By the end of that video, I was like tired. Obviously, I have my energy back. 
we're back to normal, but... Man, don't you hate people like that? Huh, I'm just getting flashbacks to people. And it's like, you're not normal. It's evident that you don't have a job. Evident. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's go back to these. Put that there. Mmm. You have to get. You must. You must get. I remember my English teacher correcting me once. I said have to. She says no. We don't say have to properly. In proper English, you don't be like, she has to go to the, or be like, I, I have to do this. Or be like, you have to go here. No, she says you say the word must. You must comply. You must deliver. You must enunciate. There's no like, I have to enunciate. No, there's no have to. That's improper English. I'm like, oh. Teachers stick with you for a very long time. Look at all this oil. Peppery oil. Oh my God. This looks so good. I love to eat. And I don't even have to act. <clears throat> I don't have to think of a script. I don't have to think of a topic. I don't have to watch other people's content. I don't have to follow a trend. I don't have to learn something new. I'm, thinking of, I'm going down the, the line here in my head of what everyone else has to do for their content. They have to follow the news, they have to report on drama, you know, I don't know, rent a luxury car and drive around with like attractive people and be like, look at me, stroll in, play some music. I don't have to hire videographers, I don't have to hire editors, I do everything myself. I just have to show up and eat and open my mouth and see what comes out. That's literally all I gotta do. Obviously, it's a lot. Even though it's simple, it's still time consuming, so that's why it's a lot. But, um, I kind of love it, you know, because I love to eat. It's like if it was like a beauty guru, you know, depending on the scale, they might have video editors and photographers and stuff, but excuse me, at the end of the day, they're just sitting there doing what they love. Put on makeup, it's easy for them. It takes a lot of time, it's time consuming, it's work, it's their craft, they earned it, it took talent. This, listen, I've been working very hard at my talent. I've been eating for 28 years. 28 years I have been eating food. I've been working real hard on it. I've had a lot of practice, so, you know, honor my skills, please. Thank you. <sighs> Let's do another one. It's so greasy. Look at all that cheese. Crumbling. Oh! Did you know breaded chicken is very unhealthy for you? Excuse me, focus on my face. Where'd the, where'd the focus go? Mm hmm Breaded chicken is not good for you. You're only supposed to eat non-fried chicken. What's going on? Shine bright like a diamond. Cheaper scrapers. Focus on my face. There we go, yay! Breaded chicken. Don't do it. <clears throat> and also, please chew your food. Unlike me, I keep on getting pieces down that I, sh I should be chewing wholesomely. Thank you. Okay. Let's go back to this. Brace! 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 
impact. Put on your gas masks. Thank you. Anyways, what was I saying? Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. So good. I love myself. You know what I realized? No one's gonna be as obsessed with me than me. But, I've been proven wrong. There are people who are watching, who are more obsessed with me than I'm obsessed with me. Did you hear about Jamie Lynn Spears and her sister fighting? I feel like everyone's team Britney, and I guess I am too, but Jamie Lynn, her little sister, her little tweet or whatever, her Instagram post, it made me roll my eyes so far back. Like, that is just the biggest, the biggest bunch of fluff I've ever seen, where it's just like, I don't want drama, but I'm gonna make drama, but I'm not, I don't want drama, but I don't want drama, but I love my sister, but she's a liar, but I'm gonna stand up for myself, but I'm also not, because I don't really care, but I, you know, I'm clear, my, I want my truth out there, but I love my big sister, my big sister's not really a liar, but she is a liar, but please don't, please don't, I just want this to be over, but I'm gonna say something that makes it not over, but make sure you, you know, come out with my new book, my new book's coming out, but it has no, brace! You know what I mean? I saw that and I, I literally, this was me reading it. Uh. Oh. Oh. That was me. And is Britney tasteful and coming out with ambiguous, like, yeah, you know, like, just vague pieces of information. Is she professional for that? No, but she doesn't, she doesn't have to be professional. It's like, I don't know. It, it, it's like, if you're responding publicly, like, like text her, call her, you're blocked, then move on. I don't know what to say. It, but she put, and she said, I'm so worried for my children. They're getting attacked. I don't know. I just, why is my phone? Can you all help me? So when I grab my phone, it's real dark. It, it just happened. I was, I, maybe I pushed a button yesterday by accident. So when I pick up the screen, it's dark. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's on. And then I like zoom and I go like this and I turn up the brightness all the way. I'm like, why is it not automatically bright when I pick up my phone? Why is it pitch dark? Maybe because I lay it like this, whatever. It's always laying like this. This has never happened before ever. There must be a button. Yeah, I was like, uh, uh. And you know, it's one of those things too. Maybe she is right. There's many instances where someone's right with how they're acting, how they're responding, how they're living. Maybe something took place and it came out to light and maybe they were the right person. Like, for, obviously when there's problems, usually everyone does a little something wrong, but you can always just be like, yeah, they're the right, they're the wrong one. Even if like a little bit she made it okay, a little bit she made it not okay. In general, we can kind of say you were right, you were wrong. Um, even if you're right, sometimes you have to have enough self-awareness to be like, it. Uh, it's, it's, it's swimming upstream. No one cares if I'm right and I will make matters worse if I complain about it, or try to fight back, or bring it up. Like, you just have to be like, Ugh, people have a bad perception about me for this thing. I can't change it, and by trying to change it, I will make people hate me even more. That's called being an adult. That's called having self-awareness. That's called being smart. And that's called uh, thinking about the big picture because she's saying, ah, my life is so hard. Ah, I'm sick of the rumors. You're only gonna make it hard. Don't feed the fire. There you go. Don't feed the fire. Because here's the thing. If you ignore and someone goes on and on and on about you and like, you'll never bring them up. 
Pretend, I have, pretend there's like an issue I have with a person and they'll sit on their channel and talk crap about me every day, every day, every day, every day. And I never acknowledge them, I don't bring it up, I don't, I don't engage, don't engage, why do you engage? Like, ew, don't you have free, like, don't you have time? My time is worth a lot of money. <laughs> ew, I, I literally have no time. And you, even if I'm right, by engaging, say people already think they're right, and they think that I'm wrong. And if I have tried to fight back, now people will hate me more, A, a waste of time, you accomplish nothing, and B, people are gonna like them even more. But if you ignore, and don't engage, they're gonna keep on running their mouth, running their mouth, talking about the same old thing, same old thing, same old thing. And even if people think they're right, eventually people are gonna think they're wrong. Because you're gonna be like, Nick's over there not saying anything. <laughs> Nick is literally, it's over, it, he's moved on. And then now, the people that liked that person, who thought they were right, they're all of a sudden gonna start thinking that they're wrong because they're, they're starting to see a pattern. Like, wait a minute, my time here, I'm watching you go, like, now it looks very clear that they have a mission. It's not even about, you know releasing a story or experience. It's literally like you have, you're on a mission. You're on a mission now. And now we're starting to see like, they're not even responding. They're not even fighting back. They're literally doing something else. And this is, now it's clear that there's an agenda and you're trying to make a narrative and then people will turn on you. And then you'll, and then they'll lose. So that's what I'm saying. If Britney keeps making these posts, people think, okay, everyone loves her right now. Everyone's proud of her for getting out of the thing. But everyone's happy for her that she's out of that thing, the conservatorship. If Jamie would have just ignored, or did positive stuff, or didn't give attention, or literally maybe make one, maybe one post and say, I understand our family's broken right now. I'm gonna do what I have to do behind the scenes as a person so that I don't make things worse. And that's it, that's it. <clears throat> um, if Brittany would keep on doing this for like month after month after month, year after year, then people will be like, yeah, she's mentally unwell. Like, she needs to move on to. Like, it's one thing to come out with something. It's another thing to, like, literally make your platform about somebody else. That's weird. So, Brittany just got more points because her sister responded. And that it was just a dumb response. I don't want drama, but I do. But I didn't do anything, but I love my big sister. But she doesn't want drama. But I'm... Uh, shut up, little girl. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, little girl. How old is she? <clears throat> Excuse me. All this dairy. It's not even that much dairy. It's like just dip. Okay, you guys. Well, anyways, um, let me look up Jamie Lynn Spears' age. She's older than me. She's acting like a That's really her age? Unless it's wrong. I mean, listen, you Google a lot of things about me. My Google says I'm 5'7 or 5'8 or something. Google lies too, you know. There's no fact checkers. Where are the fact checkers? Where are the blue hair fact checkers? <sighs> Where are the fact checkers? You know what I mean? Where are the fact checkers? <laughs> so Google lies too and all that, all that stuff lies. All that, all that stuff. Um, because, because anyone can write anything and if there's nothing else to contest it then that's what we run with until in the meantime until we are contested some people don't bother <laughs> so you know I'm not gonna write an article myself be like here we're gonna measure myself with measuring tape so people can stop spreading rumors about my height or my weight or my net worth or anything <laughs> it's just like whatever <clears throat> so she might be older than me but she might not be it doesn't really matter Sh she she I think she's wrong I think her statement was just dumb. <clears throat> Man, and it's always sad too when it's about family. Because those people are supposed to be th for you through thick and thin, but obviously, no, I mean, from what we know, Britney's family used her as a cash cow. Make her work. We'll collect the funds. We'll manage the funds and say, here you go. Here's all of it. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe I just spread a rumor right there. But at the end of the day, when someone else is managing your money, it's your money. And it's not your... Uh, 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 like, I don't know. They literally could have taken $5. You'll never know. They could have taken 5 They literally could have given themselves free lunch every day. Every single day, I take $20 for my lunch. 
and a sea of hundreds of millions of dollars, no one's gonna see if you took their $10 a day. No one's gonna see it, but you benefit by eating for free every day. Like, that's how much money we're talking. Like, no one's even, unless you have a strong accountant, like a team of accountants. So, that's. Mm. What did she say? Let's. What's this on Twitter? Jamie Lynn Spear. And unfortunately, here we go. I'm already rolling my eyes. It's all these paragraphs. The last thing I want to be doing is this, but here we go. Then it's not the last thing you want to do. The last, mean, the last thing means it's the very last thing. This can't be the last thing. The last thing in, in this world is death. This was not the last thing. This was the next in line option. And a, and a list of like probably four things, you little girl. But anyway, she says, the, la the very last thing I would ever want to do is this. Yeah, please. Like, do you see what? I'm on the first sentence and I'm like, like my eyes are stuck. My eyes are stuck. My eyes are stuck. Come, bring them back. Bring them back. We have to read. It's hard to see these posts, as I know the world also feels. I just wish her well. Britt, I am always here. You know behind the scenes I have been here. Like, now she's speaking to her. Or she's speaking to her followers. Or both. It's become exhausting when conversations and texts that we have in private don't match what you post on social media. Yeah, that happens. That happens. That happens to me. Happens to you. We all have been there. You'll have a private conversation with someone and they'll, they'll say something else. That's life. I know. Is it right? No, but again, everyone's happy. If this is Britney's time, sometimes the world can turn based on the timing that something takes place. Amen. The world could turn forces because something was not timed right. Like that is the finest little detail that can change everything. The timing. This is not the time, little girl. It's just not. And if you can't see that, then you haven't lived enough. Maybe you are not living in the ways that I've lived. Maybe you don't have enough people helping you write these things. I don't know. I just, this, I know you're going through a lot, and I don't, I don't want to diminish this, but I also can't diminish myself. Quite frankly, the things being said are absolutely not the truth. And I have not, and I have to clarify that. You mean you must. Go to English class like I did. Because now it's getting harder for me to realize and to rationalize, rationalize my oldest daughter, whose families continue to get beep, beep, as a result of their aunt's vague and accusatory posts. Especially when we know she could just tell the truth and put an end to all of it on social media in one second if she wanted to. Sadly, after a lifetime of a lifetime, a lifetime of say, staying silent, I have come to realize that this isn't going to be a reality, and I may have to set the record straight myself in order to protect mine and my family's well-being. She's all talking about she doesn't like Britney's vague post. Well, that looks awfully vague to me. If you're going to counter someone's vagueness with a uh, not ambiguity, then you're gonna say, I received this letter. It said blank, blank, blank. It was signed and dated by such and such. I have a detective working with me to figure out why this letter was sent. This is what happened because of this letter. Brittany said this, and this is actually, like this is also just as vague, lady. <laughs> That's why it's like, it just big, a bit fluff. Wasn't that the, the first thing I said, fluff. You're, you're matching fluff with more fluff. That being said, I also hate to burst my sister's bubble, but my book is not about her. Okay, you just said you don't like her accusatory posts, but now you're accusing her of assuming that the book is about her. Did she come out and say the book is about her? I don't know. But you are also vague too. And not to burst her bubble. So that's implying that you think she is full of it, or she, she, she's cocky, or she's arrogant, or she thinks everything's about her. Well, didn't you just say the paragraph before that, that you're sick of vague and ambiguous, um, what does it say here? Ba vague and accusatory. That's accusatory. Vague and accusatory posts. Well, now you're doing it right back at her. You're accusing her of thinking that these books are about her. Did she say the book is about her? Maybe she did, and maybe I'm really off. Maybe I am off. I don't know. 
But sometimes when you match someone else's energy and the whole world's on their side already, you won't actually change anything. You're only gonna make them look stronger. It takes a self-aware person to be, you know, to acknowledge that. I've worked so hard since even before I was a teenager. I've built my entire career in spite of just being someone else's little sister. Okay. But then the, man, the last paragraph says, there are no sides and I don't want drama. Ah! <laughs> but I'm speaking my truth to heal my traumas. <laughs> so I can close this chapter and move. You think, you think by posting this, you closed any chapters a little bit, see? You think you just closed a chapter? If you're the last thing I would ever want to do, that means you are at the very last option. To close a chapter means to go to Instagram and make vague and accusatory posts about someone that you're claiming who's making vague and accusatory posts. I just wish my sister could come forward. No matter what comes, I will always love my big sister. I'm always here for her. I don't want to see what I'm, it's just like ping pong, ping pong, ping in her head, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Now it's time to put an end to unhealthy chaos that has control that has controlled my life for so long. This that's how it ends right there. And then she signs her full name like she's some type of like author, J. B. Lynn Spears Watson. Oh. It's time to put an end to unhealthy chaos that has controlled my life for so long. You know, Britney just left a conservatorship, which is by definition an, an unhealthy level of chaos and control. You should not be coming out and saying that you have been in some type of cycle of chaos and control at this time. Again, the timing. It's like if I get in a car accident and break my leg and I can no longer walk. And it's rock say it say I'm a dancer, I'm a professional dancer. So it's, re it's really impacted my career, it's impacted my self-esteem. I'm really famous, everyone loves me, everyone's hurt for me, everyone's sad for me. And then my sibling comes out and says, I stubbed my toe, I can't walk. Everyone, you know, oh, I'm in so much pain, no one's caring for my toe. Um, yeah, they might have stubbed their toe. It might be a fact that they stubbed their toe. It might be true that they're in pain, but and they're and then they'll come out and say that their life is just falling apart. It's like, wait a minute. Your, your, your brother's, me, his life has actually fallen apart because he broke his leg and can't walk. You stubbed your toe, it might hurt, it might take over your life for a little bit, but this is not the time to be talking and looking for sympathy for your foot when, you're, when your sibling just broke their foot and you stubbed your toe. You see what I'm saying? Don't be talking about being controlled, controlled and silenced in an unhealthy chaos that has controlled my life. That's what Brittany just went through in a conservatorship. I think this literally proves Britney's point that this this girl, one of us, was jealous. This just screams jealousy. Uh, just jealousy. Just and again, she might be right by some of it. She, no one knows everything. I don't know. She could actually be right. Britney really could be mentally unwell and just she could be manipulated in her own in her own way. It could be true, but. If you're trying to sway the public right now, uh, this is not the time. And that's not how you do it either. Oh my God. My eyes have rolled so far back, you guys. Uh, I'm like, this little girl, but she's older than me, apparently. How? Uh, nobody knows. Oh, so much better. That cheese, the texture. Am I right or am I wrong? Am I right? I'm right. Now is not the time to talk about how controlled you've been. Oh my God. Even if she has been controlled in her own way. Let this story about Britney die down. Come back in a year or two. Is it fair? No, but life's not fair. You have to play your cards right. You have to be smart, little girl. Or don't come back and say it. Just do your thing. Just move on.
I don't know if Britney said something about her, but I don't even follow her to be honest. I mean, I follow every now and then. If I think about her, I'll go to her page. And she's always posting the same photos. It's kind of crazy looking, but it's interesting. But also, she's kind of known for deleting things. She'll post delete, post delete, post delete. So, I'm not even going to try to play detective and figure out what was said to make her say all this. I don't, I, I don't care. I don't care because, again, Brittany could actually, she could literally accidentally run over a cat tomorrow. You know, she's allowed to drive now. And she'll, oh, oh, I just ran over Scruffy Doodles. You know what? People are so wrapped up in this freedom for her, this whole sense of freedom, control, censorship, being, people literally imagine her locked up in a house. Uh, she has a pass right now. She has a pass. That's what the public is going to do. That's what the public is doing. I see she's posting like really, uh, how do I say it, risque types of posts without any type of tops on. And people have been pointing out, you know, a few people have pointed out, like, you know, if I would have done that, my account would have been banned. But she's allowed to do it. But you know what? People are so, like, affected and moved by her story that, again, she has her own form of public, pa public pass. And if you can't see that, I don't know. Let me, uh... Let's go on Twitter to see what's happening with her. Jamie. <clears throat> see, see, this is it. This is it. This is literally, this is it. Someone tweeted, quote, Britney Spears gets abused and drugged for over a decade. And then underneath, uh, underneath it says, Jamie Lynn, quote, but when will I matter? 70,000 likes. This is actually, that's all I had to say. This whole video was just a bunch of, but I'm so sorry. I just talked too much. That's all I had to say. I just had to show you this tweet. Britney Spears gets abused and drugged for over a decade. Jamie Lynn, but when will I matter? That's literally, this is literally how people see it. <sighs> But when will I matter? Like, literally. And um, when I say life is unfair, it probably really does suck to be the sibling of an ultra, ultra, ultra famous celebrity. Because you will always be second place. You will always be second place. It Does that suck? Yes. There's I can think of a lot of scenarios where um, someone's... And, and that even if they're on good terms. Like, look at even on YouTube. Like, Colleen Bollinger. Her famous, her, her, excuse me, she's famous, her sister Rachel kind of like, she put her under her wing, and then she has her uh, other, so I can't remember their name, but they have a family channel with a baby, and then she's like helped fund them, and like, they're, they, they're all like, like happy family, right? And they still are, like, they're, no, again, no one is Colleen. You can't, or Kardashian, everyone knows Kim Kardashian, I mean, Chloe and Kylie. Kylie Jenner has really made a name for herself. But she still will never be or ever replace Kim Kardashian. That's the out. That's just how it is. Even if they get along, even if they help each other, even if they try to, to kind of like sh mooch off each other and collaborate with each other, one will always be the leader. That's how life goes in the animal kingdom, in the plant kingdom, under the water with the fish. There's always a leader. And the leader will be the leader. It's very hard and very rare for the leader to be replaced unless they get eaten or die. There will always be someone at the top. It, it could be your sibling. You might have a lot of aspirations. You might have a lot of things you want to do for the world and create or invent something. Maybe you want to tell stories. Maybe you want to be an author. You will always be second place or third place. And you have to know this. And just say, it is what it is. Who cares? Because you're still probably better off than everyone else. All the other peasants. You're still literally better than all the peasants, even though you're third place. You're still up there. So, you know. Okay, tomorrow we're not having dairy. I feel my nose clogging. What, what is happening? No dairy tomorrow. Oh, no. I love cheese. Dun -dun. What are we going to have tomorrow? I love cheese. Dun -dun. We love cheese. Dun -dun. What are we going to eat tomorrow? We're having pancakes. But that has butter, which is dairy. I love cheese. 
Dun -dun, tomorrow I'm making waffles. I love cheese. Dun -dun. What are we gonna have tomorrow? We can't eat cheese. Dun -dun. Trying to think. I like spicy ramen noodles, which is a hunt dairy, but if I don't add cheese, it gets too spicy and I die. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Well, that's what I think about Brittany and her sister. What do you think? Do you think she can turn around and replace Brittany ever? 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 She could literally donate her hands to someone who needs hands, and she could do it while alive. She could literally... She, she, she could literally live in a tent on the streets and literally give up everything and give it everything to charity. She will still not replace Brittany Spears. That's a weird analogy. Like, here, take my hands. Sacrifice. Here they go. Give them to someone who needs my beautiful hands. I'm surprised no one's ever had that talk with her, right? Because obviously not everyone knows everything. There's a lot of things that I don't know. There's a lot of things I'm always learning. A lot of things I'm discovering where I'm like, oh, crap. That's embarrassing. I shouldn't have done that. that happens to me all the time. But um, when you're usually someone like that, you probably have people around you. Maybe someone helps run your social media. Maybe you have an advisor. Maybe you have a manager, right? Don't you? Are, do you have an agent? I mean, doesn't she act in movies? Like, don't you have someone around you that's saying, look here, look. Uh, I don't know, a life coach. I really don't know. Because I get it, not everyone's gonna know, not everyone's gonna be aware. Sometimes you're not made aware until someone tells you. There's been times where I've really been so uh, self-centered or inconsiderate, and I don't, I just, I'm unaware, okay? So that happens to people sometimes, we get oblivious. But I don't know until they tell me, and when they tell me, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, really? Oh, ooh, oh. I really don't like myself right now. I don't like hearing that, but I'm, re I'm really disappointed with me. Oh God. Uh, and now, now I literally change things about me so I don't do that to other people or whatever, right? So why hasn't someone told her? <laughs> this is the very last thing I would ever wanna do. No, this is the last thing I have to do. Buy my book though. It's not about Brittany. Who's buying that book? Honestly, 10,000 people will buy the book. She's, that's it. 20,000, I don't know. Who knows, who knows, who cares? I can't read anyway, I'm too stupid, so I won't be buying it. I don't know how to read. I, I really don't. So, bye everyone. Thanks for watching my video. I feel a lot better. I literally was crying today, and uh, I didn't shower, I'm all swollen, and I already feel happier. Maybe I should gossip more often. Self-esteem booster. Ooh. <laughs> Makes you feel better about your own life. Bye. And please click the link in the description box. And go leave a nice comment to that person's channel. It's gonna, it's gonna be a secret, but please go click it, comment on it, and tell them I sent you and subscribe, okay? I'm gonna do something nice for them. They don't know I'm gonna be doing it. It's a surprise, so go do it. Okay, I'll see you on over there. I'm gonna be seeing who's there and I'll shout you out tomorrow. Bye. Let's go on o let's go over together. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.